Welcome back, hoarders and builders, to Seven Days to Die on the PS4 with the newest Patch 10 update on Gotnix Gaming. I want to welcome you guys back. Thank you for joining me here as we are getting ready to prepare for the 14-day hoard. I've done a bunch of stuff already. I got my forge in place there, and we've got some stuff going on in there. I think it stopped burning. Yes, it did. So we're going to take half of this. We're going to dump this in here. We're going to keep that rolling because I want to get the rest of the iron in there. Um, struggling getting the iron to begin with. I got plenty of clay out back if I need to get more clay. That's really not my uh, deal right now. My challenge right now is to find as much iron as possible. I have some here that I've kind of picked up from scrapping things down here and there. I'm going to throw that in. You don't get much fort putting into the forge. But I'm going to use it anyway at this point uh, because I want to get a whole bunch of forged iron. I need to start getting the tools upgraded. I've got myself a pickaxe now. But now it's time to get myself a proper um some proper tools so i want to get the 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 iron axe and the iron shovel so i can dig a little bit faster and stuff like that still using a stone axe for a lot of things not the greatest uh, of of situations to say the least so let's come upstairs here i'm gonna dump off a whole bunch of my inventory i got so much stuff on me right now we'll get rid of the bottles there more electrical parts some more lead uh some gas some iron pipes a headlight I got beer, we'll put that in the other thing. We'll put this here. I got a lot of bandages, so let's go dump the bandages in there. Some cloth fragments, feathers, grain alcohol, which I hardly use. We got some eggs, we got some seeds, splints. Uh, I want to hold on to the hay bales and the forged iron. I have a forged, I have a, the iron club. Uh, 33 iron. I'll get more iron in the meantime. We'll scrap that. We'll put the nitrate in there. The leather. And we'll get rid of the eggs and the beer and put that over here. So, put this in this place. Eggs, beer. We'll even put the yucca seeds in there because it's kind of food. Anyway, I'm doing okay on food. We definitely need to get some stuff rolling here. Um, I think I'm going to take those eggs and that meat and make some bacon and eggs out of it. After I eat a few pieces of meat. We'll take all of that. We'll take all of that. We're going to have to go hunting again right after the um, the 14-day horde there, which is what we're going to kind of do. Oh, i got more meat in there. I forgot all about that. Look at that. got plenty of meat. All the meat we want. Bacon and eggs. We're going to do that. And I put the coal away. I don't need a lot of wood here, so let's see. One minute. One minute worth of wood is fine. I don't have a lot of wood either. We're going to go do some more grinding. I've been grinding for stone and the iron, the raw iron. I just threw it into the, the forge already and the wood. We have one more thing we need to do. All right, good. We have one more thing we need to do before I kind of cut off into the 14-day horde. Because what I'm going to do is a little more grinding, a little more preparing. And then I'm going to uh, transition it to the 14-day uh, horde. I'm hoping I can get them to come from this direction here and I can kind of just sit up here with my bow and arrow and pick at them. Um, I am not nearly strong enough to take on a horde uh, head on or face on. Not not nearly nearly there yet. Things have been kind of on the slow go here for me. Uh, I did fix one thing. I had the day cycle set for 30 minutes. It's an 18 hours of daylight for the game, but it took only 30 minutes to get through that day, um, which kind of made things go a little, a little quick. So some defenses out here as well, just in case they come from the back. I'm thinking they're going to go for the go the garage doors. I have some stuff down here as well, just in case. Uh, I'm actually going to take this out so I can see them a little bit better. And I can see I have wood spikes all around. Hopefully I don't fall down onto any of those things and break an ankle or whatever. Um, but that is that. But we do have a little bit of a surprise. And we're going to go do that now. And I'm going to try to get out of the bathroom. There we go. We're going to go all the way around. And we're going to come over here. And there's a crate up there. And I've been holding off on beating up this crate only because I wanted some skills to get up and things like that. But you know what? I think it's time. I think it's time to do the crate. And I'm going to do it with you guys here so you get to see what's in there too along with me. So a little bit early on. Um, actually, we should wait. We should wait and we should do this. I have a whole bunch, a whole bunch of uh, skill points to spend here. I don't know what I want to do with them. I don't care about weapons right now. It's too early for that. Weapon smithing is going up on its own. Blade weapons are at a 5. Blunts are at a 6. I got Pummel Pete 1, which is good. And Archery's getting up there too. 
tools is more important than anything else. I did minor 69er up to one level. Um, I need level 10 to get to the next one, which I don't want to do that right now. Two smiths is at a 15. Concrete mixing would be nice, but I need construction tools is, is high enough, but it's 30 points. We're going to have to save up for that. We definitely want to get the workbench before we do concrete. So maybe workbench is going to be important for us over the next couple of episodes. We'll do that. All right. We'll do that. Clothing we don't care about. The scavenging stuff is super important. I got to get quality, Joe. So we're going to take this and move it up one point. Um, scavenging has to go to a 20. Ow, my gosh. Ugh, it's going to bring me to 19. I just need to, to do more looting is what it comes down to. That'll fix that issue. I wanted to get the quality Joe up before I opened this crate. But you know what? Let's screw it and do it. And we're just going to see what it gives us. Hopefully it's some good stuff. Cross your fingers, folks. And we get nothing. It's an absolutely empty crate. What a mind bend. Oh my gosh. That is terrible. Anyway, all right. That was rather that was rather anticlimactic, wasn't it? So I'm a little disappointed. I'm gonna go beat this tire to let out my aggressions. There we go. And I got mini. Oh yeah, mini bike tires, and they're 493s. That's amazing. All right, we're coming into nighttime here, so we're gonna want to be careful, but we definitely want to get outside and get some stuff going. So I also put some defenses around here too, around the car. In this area, so they try to go for the door. I took the door out because they're attracted to doors. Plain and simple, they're attracted to doors. So we took it out, put some spikes there. We may want to put more. Um, I could simply get out here. So can they. They can jump over that. But I'm hoping that they're not going to be that smart and path to it that way in the beginning. You know, but here's to here's to wishful thinking, as they say, right? So we do have a drop that came along. Uh, I'm tempted to get more clay. I do have some in my in my oh. There we go. I do have some in the uh, in the store chest up top. But I could use definitely use a lot more. You want to fill up that forge with as much clay as possible. Of course, iron has been the challenge from the beginning here, um, in the early going, and I'm getting more dirt again, which I don't need, and that's dirt too. This should be all be clay, yeah. This is all clay here. We'll break down one more kind of block of clay here. There we go. And now we'll go beat up some more boulders. So, I got one left here. I went all the way the long way to get that, that stupid rock. Uh, we got one more left here to break down on this particular one. One more break down here. That should be quick because we have this, the iron pickaxe now. And it goes rather fast. And we'll get this backpack because I've never seen it before. We've got some stuff in there we can use. Uh, let's scrap that down. We're gonna not gonna use that for anything. We don't need it. And then we're gonna just gonna kind of grind away. And I will pick this up when it's uh, uh, day fourteen horde. I'll see you guys on the flip side. All right, we're back, and we can see the red sky. We have a few minutes before the horde bell goes off. I've added a few more defenses in here. I'm not don't have time to really go down there and kind of show you what I did, but I've added a bunch of spikes in. I'm gonna try to. Nah, you can't see it from here. Okay. Uh, I added a bunch of spikes in around the pumps as well. This way they can't get through there. I've also thrown a wood frame above this and then some barbed wire there. I put barbed wire down in front of the door. In the door that way that's open. And then, uh, of course, I showed you this before already too. We have some spikes in front of this door which just has wood on it. And then some spikes in front of those garage doors. As the bell rings though, we're going to go stand over here. Because this is kind of where I want to be when they come. I want them to come from this direction. I am being a total wuss. I am not going to take them head on. I'm going to try to pick them off with arrows the best that I can. Uh, let's see what I have on me here. The flashlight will bring that to me. We'll move this over. I have some 7.62 millimeter rounds for my sniper rifle. But this is mostly going to be 132 arrows. And we're going to see what happens. So here we go. And it starts now. Let's see where they come from. Open they come from here. Open they come from this side. Where are you guys? Where are you? Please show up on this side. I hear you. But I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Oh, where'd you come from? 
No! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe I just did that. And there they all are right there. Oh man. They fell out all the spikes. I fell down completely. What a dumb move on my part. I cannot believe I pulled that wolf that wood frame up. Just when I thought I was gonna wuss out. I didn't wuss out at all. I fell down. I'm gonna have to fight him. Hopefully they can break down some of those uh that stuff for me. I can get back inside. I don't know. It's gonna get interesting. All right, plugging uh, plugging arrows into him. There goes one down, another one down. Got him. He's down. On the side, right through the barbed wire. Can I get him through the barbed wire? We kind of can get him from the barbed wire. I think I hear one behind me. Nope, not behind me. They're on this side. Alright, so we're going to have to pick these guys off slowly but surely. I mean, ah. They're coming. They are definitely coming. Let's try to loot while we're at it. Pick up whatever we can get. Oh, he's trying to run through those things. Go through the barbed wire. That's it. That's it. You got it. Comes another fire zombie. Broke his legs already. Good. So the uh, wood spikes are doing their job. Down. He's down. Here comes the fire zombie. Shoot him. Slow him down. Oh, he's coming right around. You're down. Get whatever we can out of him. Up, oh, she's gonna break a leg. Gets good. Oh, she's alive. She's down. We'll take the pain pills. We'll collect the three duct tape. Headshot. We'll take the uh, sham sandwiches. Oh. Trap damage. I'm getting hurt by our own traps. Whoa. Here she comes. That's it. Break your leg on that thing. There you go. So they're coming from that side, which is fine. I wasn't really set up for that side. I didn't have enough time to get all set up. I'm hoping by the next time, the next uh, horde night, we'll be able to get through it quickly enough. I cannot believe that I had done that, and I went and fell through the the wood frame so bad. Oh, oh, no, no, not like this. Ah. All right, we survived that. That was interesting. Clean up some of the mess here. We are in some dire trouble here. I've got to find a way. To get back inside. That's what it comes down to. Broken legs and all. Alright. A couple shots to the head there. She's down. Let's go loot her. They're coming rather slow. They're not coming too quickly. I do have the spawn turned up on this too. It is interesting. Oh man, trap damage.
Leveling up. That's what we want to see. All right. Put my defenses back up. Pick up the hay bale. I couldn't pick these up right when I was outside. I think I was getting a little panicked there and I was trying to pick them up too quickly. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. And let's go back upstairs. Yikes. Oh, man. There they all are. They're at the back fence. Was not expecting that either. Alright, let's put this frame back in place. Just in case they get through. I don't know how I'm going to pick those guys off back there. Eh, it's going to be interesting. They're running too. Nope. Nope. Oh, it took a head off. That worked. Through the fence. Took that one's head off. Yeah, it's going to be a little challenging to get them there. I don't know what we're going to do. That fence is gone. They're trying to run through the back fence. You're thirsty. Drink some fluids. Let's drink some water. We'll drink lots of water. We're going to drink these blood bags that we picked up. That'll give us a little bit of, uh, like, fullness back. That does give you five fullness and some health as well. Not much, but some. I don't really know what we're going to do. A couple dead ones out there. This is going to be rather interesting. Yikes, man. I mean, I sat up here hoping they would come from this direction. I just kind of sat here hoping they would just come to me right away from this side. But they were smarter than me this time. I can't see what's going on over here because of uh, reasons. And eh, nothing coming around this side. Try to make them kind of come this way a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Get a different angle. There's one all the way over there, too. Holy moly. I don't really know what to do. There we go. I just wasted all my bullets taking the fence out. Let's get that lined up good. Good headshot, good headshot. Ah, I took him down. What, was that the two for one? That might have been a two for. Oh no, there's the there's the fire zombie. Never mind. But he's a little bit through the fence. Might be able to shoot him. Let's get him lined up there. Headshot. Ah, nope, missed. Ah, nope, missed. Ah, we got him. There's another one there. We're down to 18. Let's reload. This one's breaking the fence up pretty nicely. Yeah, we'll help you out there a little bit. How about that? Then we'll switch to our regular arrows. And we'll try to... Hit you from there. There we go. There we go. Took you down. Wait for you to get back up. Come on. Get back up. Get back up. This, this explains why we didn't get so many zombies towards the front. Like, I thought they were just coming slow. No, there was a whole bunch of them back here. And you're not going to get new zombies until you take out the ones that are... Aw, oh, come on. Really? Come over here. Aw, oh, man. I don't want to waste any more of my sniper bullets trying to shoot you through the fence. That's so unfair. I don't know what I'm going to do. <sighs> Let's see. I wonder how long it'll take me to break through this fence. I only got 84 left, 83 left, 82. If I just shoot the fence, I don't think that's going to happen. It's uh, 3 a.m. and we're... Uh, we got a few more zombies here left. I mean, we could wait till daylight, drop on down, and go get them. 
when they're not running. It'll be a lot easier, that's for sure. Oh, man. I'm going to take this fence down. I think that's what I'm going to do next. Fence comes down. Or I just put some spikes around the fence out there. I can't hit them from there now. Fourteen bullets left. There we go. No, don't move. Line up the headshot. Breathe. Wait, wait. I'm gonna do sniper shot here. I'm gonna do shooter. Shooter. Yeah, took you down right in the neck. And then there was two, and we're down at 3:23 a.m. It'll be 4 a.m. in a minute. Looks like that's the only two that's left. That's all I could see. It's going crazy right now. I don't see anything else. Let me pick these frames up. Hmm. I see nothing else. I don't see anybody else approaching. Let's check this side again. Make sure. There's nothing over here. Nope. Nothing here. Hey, Steve. Alan. Looks like it was not much of a, uh, a horde night. I don't see anything else coming out from out there. So that might be it. That was a kind of a weak sauce horde night. I was expecting a little bit more than that. These dudes are still trying to run through the fence. Two of them, yeah. They're just running endlessly. Well, it's about to be daytime. Let's go on down. Might as well get out there now. We're not going to go through there. Morning time. Empty zombie. That one has stuff on it. Potentially some sandwiches. Which we really don't care about. We're going to have to do a whole bunch of cleaning up. Empty zombie remains. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so you can see where I kind of put the defense. I put some spikes up here. Um, my thought behind this was I would simply do one of these deals and just place the spike on the, the thing on top of there and just walk right over it. So, and then I can get back in that way like that. Now, let's go get our little friends from over here. They should uh, not be running anymore. They should be just trying to walk into the fence and then I'll be able to loot the bodies. So, they kind of came together. There we go. Smack in the head. Smack in the head for you. Oh, you're a little bit tougher. There you go. Go on down. And you're down too. Nothing on that one. Let's see what's on you. More sham sandwiches. This is kind of weak. Nothing on you. Some uh, challenges. And more sham sandwiches. This is really weak. Not thrilled about that at all. All right. Not great looting there for that horde night, but you know it kind of goes hand in hand. It was a crappy run. Ooh, we got a we got a body up there. I didn't even see that. What do you got? Oh, we'll take it. Some bullets. Nice. I'm digging it, digging it, digging it. All right, so that's that for the horde night, and I guess we're gonna have to uh, regroup and figure out what we're gonna do. That was a little bit on the. Uh, the weak side, I was kind of expecting more. But what do we do definitely need to do? 44 Magnum rounds, that's going to be awesome. We don't want that. Uh, what are we wearing? We're wearing a helmet, so we don't want the hat. We get to keep that. And I may make myself a new shiv. Let's make a new shiv. We'll make two new shivs. And there'll be a 160 over my 134. And we'll get we'll drop that one and uh, yeah I mean it is what it is right let's get the flashlight out so I can see what I'm doing I don't walk into any of my spikes and we're gonna have to clean up the mess 
Clean up the mess that is. We'll get rid of these bodies. I'll clean this up. And in the meantime, we will regroup and we'll kind of put an end to this one here as day 14 is over. Um, and we are now going to be moving forward. And we're going to do a lot of work here. We're going to do a lot of grinding. Next episode is going to be all about uh, getting this place to a place where it'll be an acceptable base. You know? Um, I do not want to have to be boarding up my doors here. I'm going to kind of close this off and close off that back one as well. We're going to get rid of all of the garage door stuff. We're going to close those all up as well. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be part of what, that, what we're going to do there. So that's all going to be closed off. And we're just going to wall it all off there, and it'll be kind of what we do. That's what it's going to be, folks. I mean, what can you say? So, we'll go back inside here. And we'll take a look around. We'll close it off here on our forge. And that's going to do it. I want to thank you guys. Leave your comments below. The support has been fantastic. Come on back for more 7 Days to Die, as I'll be bringing much, much more of this. Hopefully, I can be doing a little bit quicker than I have been. That is my goal. But... I will see you guys around the channel, and bye-bye now.